We want to get you back out live now to our Trish Krasakis, who is actually touring with some of these rescue crews out there. She's on uh, exactly what, what kind of this apparatus are you on right now, Trish? Well, you guys, this is called a swamp buggy, and not being from South Florida, this is the first time I've heard of one, and I'm on one. I'm here with Chris, who has been back and forth, he said, 18 times since last night, saving hundreds of people and we actually were just talking about it's like five foot eight these waters so it'd be well above my head we actually just rescued a woman who was helping out a family at a home now chris what kind of circumstances are you seeing out here these are really devastating measures yeah uh there, i mean there's a lot of cars that were driving around broken down as you can see um I mean, flooded out. People thought they could just drive around, joyride. They broke down. Uh, a lot of those people we got out to safety. Um, a lot of families, uh, animals. We, I mean, I, we must have picked up, I would say, 60 reasonably animals. Lots of cats, dogs. Um, it, it's wild out here. I, I was over on the other coast uh, just a couple months ago with Ian, and I was doing kind of the same thing with Dirty South Rescue. And we were going door to door finding people. And it, I mean, it, it's just terrible to see this over in Fort Lauderdale. I grew up here, so. I was going to say, have you ever seen anything like this? This is something that you usually see for hurricanes or tropical storms, but this is severe flooding from a rainstorm. Is this something you've ever seen before? You're from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, 38 years of my life here, um, and I, I've never seen it this bad. I, I was here through everything, Andrew, all the way up. And you can take an airboat in the middle of the street, and that's about it. Uh, this this is the worst that I've ever, ever seen it anywhere. How is it emotionally witnessing this stuff? I mean, we talked about the children off air before we were live, and seeing these little kids coming out of their homes, it's such a sad and powerful sight to see with the surrounding homes. Oh, my, my in-laws live right here in the same community, so it's terrible. I drove in here, and I mean, earlier this morning, like 1 or 2 o'clock, I called them on the phone and just blew them up. They were awake. Uh, and they're, they're like, yeah, we have like two foot of water in our house. And I just, I know that's where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time now to help them rebuild and just to get everything going again. But it, it's it's really bad. It's it's tough. Chris, thank you so much. I mean, you guys, said they've like we were talking about earlier, they've made 18 trips so far, bringing back as many people as they can. Brian, are you okay? Sorry, it's getting a little wiggly out here. These streets are um, very up and down. Like you're we saying these waters are so high. We're about... 20 feet is that about how high we are up uh so 14 four is what that was so i'd say we're probably like 15 16 feet up in the air yeah so we're, we're very high there's a lot of people who are trying to get their their pickup trucks through this and they can't even go in through this so if you guys are in these areas please wait for someone to come and save you don't try and ruin your car or, you know walk through these waters because it's very very dangerous you can see this guy right here his his poor car is underwater there's more families in this area so right now they're still doing the rounds they just asked that woman if she needs help are you coming on no, she's safe. Okay, well, that's good. There's, It's really sad out here, you guys. People are just kind of waiting it out to see how much of their home is saved or not. But I'm going to toss it back to you guys while we're out here as we look for, for more people. For now, reporting live, I'm Trish Grisakis. Back to you guys. Trish, great yeah. perspective. i got to ask you, that it, he's not employed by the county or the city. Is, is he with a private company or is he just doing it on his own volition? You know, that's a great question. Chris, are you with the city or is this your swamp buggy doing this by yourself? Uh, this, is, this is mine. I built this with a friend of mine. Oh, uh, wow. All County Towing uh, is a, the employees that are on here. Um, and I built it with a good friend of mine. We put it together for Mudfest. And we just took it out here just to help people. That's oh, it. my gosh. Such a good heart. Are you doing this just for your community? I mean... Yeah, I mean, the last, uh, Ian, I did it just to help people out. I feel bad. I, I, I have the means to do it. I'm a Boy Scout. I'm able to do it. I have, you know, the ability, the people with me, the friends. So just give it back. That's all. Chris, the community needs more people like you. He's saved, I can't tell you how many people, 18 trips. So many people can fit on this. So a lot of people have been saved thanks to him and his friend. They built this. Wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. This person right there is floating on a... Is that a pole? Oh, these poor people. It's a tube. All right, let's see if we can get over oh, there and grab that. them. I mean, people are just trying to find some kind of way out of their flooded homes. Trish, that, that is one good man right there that doing really this is. on his own, on his own dime, Absolutely. just trying to help his community out there. Can, but look, can we stay with this? Yeah. Are, you, are you guys going to check on this, this gentleman here? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're going to bring them up. Do you guys need to come up? It looks like their home might be completely flooded. If you can see this man, he's floating on this tube right here. Do they need help, Trish? We're trying to figure that out right now. It looks like their home is swamped and they're trying yeah. to figure out what to get there. Oh no, they don't they don't need to get out. I think okay. they're just Yeah. I think a lot of people are just trying to assess what they can and cannot do, right? They're just kind of taking a step outside to see how bad the flooding is, how bad the car is. Can can they maybe, you know, jump the battery and try to make yeah. it out on their own? Um, that's dangerous, though, as you can see, and that's why you have the, um, the crew that you're yeah. with right now trying to save people. Right, and like he just said, I mean, right now it's completely swamped and we're getting more rain coming here shortly. So he's trying to, I guess, tell people to, to get out of their homes because it's not going to get any better at this point right now. Like like he just mentioned, this isn't something that's just going to die down. We're getting more rain later in the day, so this isn't clearly going anywhere. So I think they're trying to get people to come on these swamp buggies to get them out of their home because, like Joe was saying earlier, a lot of people that win Dixie, they're just trying to survive the night. And, I think that's what, what the atmosphere is like. But Trish, let me like ask you, you when, Ryan? when he does get folks who are willing to, to take that ride to safety, where does he take them? Where are they going and, and, and how can they, I guess, reunite with their families? Chris, when, when you take these people back to their areas, how are you reuniting them with their families? Are you bringing them to the Winn-Dixie as well? Yeah, we're bringing them to the Winn-Dixie. Watch your head. Uh, we're bringing them to the Winn-Dixie. They have Red Cross there. Um, a lot of times we've seen, uh, we'll pull out like the husband, the wife is still trying to get stuff ready. Okay, no worries. We'll come back to the same house and we just pull uh, the, the wife afterwards and then they, they always meet up. They, <laughs> it looks like we're doing a rescue, guys. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. We're doing a rescue right now. Trish, how many, while he does this, how many can you get on, on that swamp buggy? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six seats, not including the driver's spot, but there's a ton of standing space. So we've been standing okay. to make sure we don't take any spots for anyone that's coming through here. But it is a little wiggly, so if you're standing, you probably should sit down on the floor or ho hold on to one of the railings. If you can see right now, one of the guys who is on the swamp buggy with us, they're walking and knocking on people's homes to make sure that if there's anyone in there that needs to be rescued and come out, because sure. some of these people are probably just hiding in their homes, making sure and kind of passing the time to hope that they'll be okay but if they can get out and which I think they're trying to do right now yeah but like you said we have more okay, storms headed our way so the situation may not be getting any better uh, so if they can seek safety yeah. if they can seek dry ground this is the time to hop a ride and if you can see, you can see that mud right below line, where right. that window line is. That's yeah. how high that water was. So we're assuming maybe some of it has, has diminished a bit, hopefully. Um, you can see the guy right now is going into the backyard to maybe make sure everyone's okay. And I can see him from my vantage point. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but I mean, it looks like it's right above his thigh. Really, really traumatic things to see of you guys. I really hope everyone's okay and that people come out and get on this thing because it's it's going to get worse and we don't want people to stick it out in their homes. Like Chris was saying earlier, it's it's not going to get any better. Yeah, excellent Trish, work that the crews are doing out there. Yeah, Trish, how long will he stay with us? How long will Chris do this? How long have you been doing this, Chris? No, how, how long, long will he continue for to do this throughout the day? The day? Uh, we're gonna Trip. For the rest of the day? Probably, yeah, for the, we're probably going to do this last trip, go get something to eat. We've been up all night, so we're probably going to get something to eat, uh, take a break. It's going to rain, and then we'll probably come back out again. And just after it rains again and everything dissipates, and then come back out and anybody else that wants to get out or that's you know suffering, we'll get them out. What time did you start doing this last night? Uh, 12 in the oh, morning. Midnight. Yeah. So you've been at it for how many hours now? I don't even want to know. <laughs> a, little, a little tired, I imagine. Yeah, I don't even know what time it is right now. Probably running. I'm pure adrenaline. So they're going to be. So, yeah, 12 hours. 12 hours. <laughs> How many people do you think you've saved in those 12 hours? 
17, 18 trips times, I think we probably had 12 people every load. So a lot, just too, like too many people that need to get out and not enough time. Um, there have been other people out here helping. They've had airboats, um, other swamp buggies, things like that. But we've been consistently out here pretty much trying to get everybody out just as we can. And people flag us down a lot. We, I think we have the loudest ones, so they kind of, yeah. they can hear us coming. And I think that's what helps us get them. We've been seeing a lot of families. What have the reactions been? Have they been so thankful for this? Hey, every every single person, people tr trying to give us money. I mean, people force money on me. I'm like, stop. Like, I don't need it. I'm not doing it for money. Uh, and I just put it back in your wallet. I don't want it. Uh, they're, they're very, very grateful, very happy for us. They express it to me, give me handshakes, take my phone number so they can call me later and thank me. So they, they've been, it's been, it's been great, honestly. Why is it so important for you to do this? I mean, not many people get up at midnight to save people they don't know. Uh, I have the means, like I said, uh, my, my friend said to me, hey, uh, our other friend Melody from Dirty South Rescue is out there, uh, give her a call, see if you need, she needs help, whatever. Uh, I told Mike and my friend Charlie over here, hey, we're gonna go knock this out and help these people in there. Let's go, that was it. Have you ever been on the opposite side where your house has been swamped and someone helped you? No. Oh, well, that's good. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe this is good karma for you. Yeah, hopefully. Get some good juju in there. It's awesome. all about the good energy. Well, we need more people like Chris in our community. This is absolutely amazing what you're doing, saving so many people. And we'll hear more from Chris later in our newscast because I'm sure we're going to want to hear from him again. For now, reporting live here in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Trish Christakis for CBS News Miami. Back to you. What a wonderful so human being, questions. right? I, I was mean, just really, going to say, please tell Chris dime. thank you from us and, and certainly the community thanks him. What a lovely person. Absolutely.